Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Let's take a look again on the euro currency. In general we have the similar performance on the euro currency on the Great British Pound. Although on the Great British Pound there are also some other problems exist on the fundamental background. So um, today as usual we have prepared the weekly report and take a look how the situation has changed since our last discussion and uh, we are interesting how the minds of the investors are changing when they meet uh, the current statistics, especially from the European Union, from the United States, and how they treat these statistics. So currently we see that uh, investors, at least in the United States, are not uh, totally understand uh, ongoing processes, special negative moments in the performance of the United States economy. They appeal that as c consumption stands positive and have increased, it was actually recent statistics uh, that we've got last week, it means the, the low inflation, it means that economy shows good performance. And uh, this week we have explained in a report why this is not correct. We think that situation becomes worse than actually it was. And also we try to shed some light on perspective uh, fundamental, fundamentally on what could happen with the United States dollar in the nearest couple of months. Shortly speaking, we see the big dangers of the trying uh, of uh, cash flows from the Europe and the Japan in particular to the United States. Because as you know, these actual countries, European Union and uh, Japan, and partially Great Britain, has become two thirds of the free flows capitals to United States. And currently this flow is mostly dry by two reasons. First of all, the source of the capital is the positive current account, the result of the trading balance. And currently with the rising of commodities as the European Union, as the Japan is a net importer of commodities. And simultaneously devaluation of the national currencies, especially relates to the Japan, as yen has lost approximately 20% of its value, its double impact. This current account narrowed dramatically, almost dropped to the zero. It means that in the coming months, in May and June and so on, the overall cash flow to the United States from these countries will narrow or even stop totally. Which means that in a couple of months, we should get evident the problems of the United States with inflation and the deteriorating of the general economic conditions. That totally agrees with the view that we explained and, ex and expressed in our weekly reports months ago or even a bit greater, a couple of months, uh, when we talked that the inflation currently is not fiscal. It has the structural problems in the United States. It just uh, becomes because of the too much consumption and overvaluation of the real purchase power of the dollar. It should be decreased at least two times. So this, that makes impact on the targets that we see on the euro currency in the longer term perspective and uh, the factors that could let euro currency to reach these targets. First of all, the nearest target stands at 104.30 and we will take a look at it in this video just because it makes direct uh, relation to short term perspective. So our trading plan in the coming week. Next target will be stands below the parity, approximately at 97, which is actually comes from the, our monthly analysis. You could take a look at the chart and see what the patterns we have. And the next ultimate target that we already could calculate stands at 90 even. This is long-term target from the all-time time high on the euro currency. But with this, we suggest that since the situation starts changing, 
and not in favor of the United States dollar, the trend that we have currently on the euro currency could start turning in the opposite direction. But the big factor currently is the geopol geopolitics. If everything stands as it stands right now, the euro will have chances to turn up a bit earlier once the United States starts to feel the problems within a couple of months. But since United States is coming to elections in November and Fed obviously sees the same things that we see, we worry that United States dollar could take the points of the euro and United States could try to support national currency at least trying to extend the support until the November elections by any other by using any tools that they have in their hands. So in particular speaking, we don't exclude the escalation in the European Union, in, in, in Eastern Europe. So uh, if this happens, then the reaching, then, then, then the, uh, the problems, the devaluation of the United States dollar could start later, will be postponed for some time, and euro could reach the 90 UN target that we have specified. So that's the only thing that is unclear. Uh, but in general, the fact that market could drop a bit more somewhere to the parity, this is, well, highly likely, it's just because it comes from the technical tools that we see on the monthly chart. So that's approximately what we expect in uh, longer term. In the shorter term, as we're coming to payrolls report, as we're coming to Fed meeting, some other important information we could get the volatility. Currently, market is overextended. As on the weekly chart, as on the daily, this is the major conclusion that we could get from these time frames. So market stands oversold in both time frames. Also, we do know that right at 104.30, which is uh, well, 100 pips lower than market stands right now, we have another the major monthly OP target. So taking it all together, we suggest that on the Fed meeting, we could get significant volatility where this target probably should be reached. Market should be completed. At the same time, we do not expect the direct straightforward downward action just because market stands oversold. More problem from the technical point of view is that here we could get the pullback, some technical response on the monthly target with a moderate retracement, at least in the beginning. Later we will see whether what patterns will start to forming, starts to form. But currently it might be some pullback up from this area. It means that on the coming week, we're watching for a couple of months. First of all, we do not consider taking any short position because markets are sold. Second, we are watching for reaching 104.30 target when this final will be reached. And third, we are watching for the patterns in what manner market hits this target. So uh, this last question brings us to a couple of possible patterns. First of all, in the fall time frame chart, it seems that it might be Double repo, it's a good thrusting down reaction. First crawls about the three by three, but then you drop back to the one oh four thirty. This might be a bit lower lows, and then sharp close above the three by three gives us double repo, triggering the upward bounce. On the hourly chart, all this performance with the double repo bottom easily could take the shape of the butterfly. With the target of the butterfly, as you can see, 107 extension perfectly agrees with the monthly target. It's just 10 pips difference. So here is 104.38, while on the monthly OP is 104.31. So that's approximately what we intend to keep an eye on in the coming week. This is our preparation for the week. But in reality, we will see what will happen, especially on the Fed meeting. So let's see how it will turn.